All right, so uh, Jake, you talk about what it was like when you first heard uh, the news being out for the season here. Uh, emotions are going through. Right uh, you know, initially it was really disappointing. Uh, I didn't know the extent of the injury, and you know, we didn't think it was going to be require surgery. So you know, it was disappointing. But um, at this point, there's nothing I can do. You know, it's, uh, like I said, it's, you know, the card I was dealt. And, you know, I'm going to deal with it, and you know, I look at the positives. I'll, you know, be able to work on my strength in the weight room, get bigger and stronger. You know, get ready for next year. Yeah, what's the process going to be like for the foot, and how how much can you do in the weight room until it's fully healed? Uh, well, I'm going to be having surgery uh, Thursday, and then from there I'll be in a cast for six to eight weeks, and you know, I should be able to work in you know upper body in the weight room. Uh, you know, I'll be hobbling around a little bit in there, but you know, I'll be working on you know, my upper body strength. And have they told you anything about like the surgery, how, how the effectiveness of it works and whatnot? Uh, well, pretty much it's, it's you know, a fracture. It's the bone split down the middle, so they're just going to come in and put a screw. Um, and it's, I guess it's a pretty standard procedure, so, um, you know, that was really what they told me. And, you know, I hope, you know, eight weeks, you know, a couple weeks of rehab, and I'll be, you know, back on the court. Is it a common basketball injury? They said it was. They said it was very common, yeah. Um, you know, some people uh, opt to let it heal, but uh, you know the doctors, with, you know my situation, really recommended that surgery was the best option. We move back to the UMass basketball yeah. course and uh, talk about the play that led to the injury and whether you had kind of a sneaking suspicion in your head maybe this could be my whole season or whether you thought you might be able to come back. Uh, I really didn't think it was going to be the season. Uh, I've, I actually, uh, you know, I went up for a jump shot. I came down and kind of rolled my ankle, and I've rolled my ankle a bunch of times in practicing games. So I really thought that was, you know, maybe a sprained ankle. But um, you know, as weeks went on, um, you know, it wasn't healing, and progress wasn't being made. And, you know, that's when you know the, the doctors and the trainers here kind of realized that it was a fracture, and it's more than just a sprain. And as a track captain for this team, what are you telling your team right now, your teammates right now, as far as? Injury plague season, you know, year after the season. What do you tell them to keep their uh, keep their heads up going into the rest of the American East play? Yeah, I mean, we can't dwell on this. We gotta keep getting better, and uh, there's more than enough talent here. And you know, other guys are just gonna have to step up. And I think we're all pretty confident in the guys we have. And you know, we we know that you know they're gonna step up. And um, you know, guys like Dom and DJ and Trav, I think they're doing a really good job. And you know, we got enough talent to, to win ball games here. How does your role as a leader change now? At all, uh, it it really doesn't change. You know, I'm going to be around the team just as much as I was before the injury. I'll be at every practice. I'll be traveling with the team. So my role as a captain really not going to change. Uh, I'll just be a different perspective, I guess, uh, being from the sidelines. But my role as captain really won't change. Is it going to hurt watching it from the sidelines? Yeah, uh, it, it it's hurt before, but like I said, you know, I got to look at the positives um, and go from there. About the timing coming right before uh, time of the injury, obviously the game right before um, America East play, big part of the con uh, a big part of the season there. Uh, talk about how that might have been disappointing there. Yeah, it was disappointing, uh, but you know what are you gonna do? It's card I was dealt, and um, you know, like I said before, I'll use this opportunity to just get bigger and stronger. And you know, it could be worse. Thankfully, I, you know, I got another year left next year, so. You know, that's what I'm going to be looking forward to during you know, my rehab. Have you learned anything from guys in the past that have hurt themselves? Like Tyler Morris had some injuries. Have you learned anything from those guys that you can take into account now? Yeah, I mean, you know, guys like Tyler, uh, they've been through it and, and they stayed positive, and that's really what I'm taking away from this. Um, it's really unfortunate to, to go down, you know, to you know, be, go from one day playing a game you love and the next day not you know, being able to do anything about it, but you know, you gotta look at the bright side and, and take any kind of positive you can from it. I think at one point, point coach said that the red, red shirt in the season was out of the question. Is that true? Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure exactly the rules behind that, but uh, from what I know, I've, I've played in 14 games, which is you know too many for to get the, the red shirt option. It's kind of brutal going around in the snow with those crutches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the snow's not helping the cops right now. Uh, but, you know, what are you, you going to do? Are those special made for you? No, they're actually not. I've gotten quite a few comments on, on the crushes themselves. Uh, a little embarrassing, I'm not going to lie, but what are you going to do? Jake, thanks, thanks Jake. All right, thanks.